Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Lilia and I want to take you today with me on a week in my life. Today it is Monday and um, I'm having quite an exciting start of the week because I'm going to get my hair done after not coloring my hair for pretty much exactly one year. Last time I colored my hair was back in 2020 before everything started in the Netherlands. Um, and my hair is getting quite dark. So as you can see, these are like my natural dark blonde roots and I really wanna lighten it up. And uh, because things right now are slowly opening up again in LA, finally nail salons and hair salons are open again. So I'm going to a new hairdresser in Studio City and I'm really excited. Um, his name is Jacob and I love his work. So I'm curious to see what he's going to make of it. And um, yeah, I also quickly want to say that I'm going to do a weekly vlog, not like a daily vlog or just a few days of the week, if that makes sense. And I don't think I've done that ever since I moved to LA. Like my last weekly vlog is I think when I was still in law school in DC and my life has changed quite a bit. So if you're kind of curious what I get up to in, you know, in a week, uh, in current times where most of the time I'm still at home and how I kind of remain my creativity, productivity, and sanity. <laughs> um, definitely continue watching. So yeah, and also we have a special guest in this vlog and we're matching. Hey guys, what's <laughs> up? So yeah, right now we're gonna go to uh, a local farmer's market. We've never been to this farmer's market. Um, so we're gonna, gonna check it out and then we're gonna go to the hairdressers. So. Let's get started. I also quickly want to show my outfit for today. This is one of my favorite types of outfits that I haven't worn in so long because I've been just wearing very comfortable loungewear <laughs> most of the time. So it feels great to actually dress up. I'm wearing uh, this leather jacket or faux leather jacket from Zara. My t-shirt is from Givenchy. Then my jeans are these skinny jeans and I haven't worn skinny jeans in so long uh, with some rips. And these are from American Eagle and they're the extra short length. So they're perfect for all my short girls out there. And then my shoes are from Princess Polly. Love these shoes, I featured them in uh, one of my recent hauls. And then my bag is YSL. Also, if you're wondering about the mess in the bag, uh, we actually had a sleepover there. Um, yeah, I kind of felt like a teenager again, having sleepovers with uh, my girls or my boyfriend at the time, whatever. Uh, <laughs> kind of funny. So uh, yeah, that's the mess. I still didn't clean it, but whatever. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Yes, undone. So that's it. what we really focus on. It's just like undone, yeah. soft looking hair where it's like you spent the summer at the beach <laughs> and it just gives you those perfect sunburst yeah. highlights. But because you do curly and straight, I want your pieces to really pop when it's curly, but then also yeah. very soft and melted if you wear it straight. Mm -hmm. So I really want to focus on your face frame yeah. to really give you that pop around your face and just make it like a bright shimmery golden without it being too harsh, where it really looks super natural. Honestly, I'm so excited. It's been literally exactly one year since I've colored my hair. Perfect. So, you know, it's like my yearly touch up. <laughs> yearly, and this thing is yeah. going with more of an undone look is yeah. it's gonna prolong for, you know, the rest of the year where you won't need a touch up. If anything, you can come in for a gloss to just oh, give yeah. it that shine again. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll just go on and brighten up around yeah. your face. No. So
Trippin'. I miss your commitment, I see what good vision We don't like opinions, I got it I need you too much to know, we can't be finished, no No, we can't diminish, no Maybe tomorrow, I'll visit your mind Can't meet the time of day, I'm sure you'll find a way I'll show you this light out So guys, this is the final result and honestly, I am so in love with my hair. I don't think my hair has looked this good for about a whole year. I, I can safely make a bold statement like that because this is just on another level. I love the way this beachy wave really shows the dimension in my hair. And uh, yeah, we just highly recommend coming here. I'm definitely gonna come back here to get a touch up. We already discussed some future plans and maybe even a different hair color. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, if you're still looking for a great hairstylist, definitely check uh, my description box out because all the info is linked there. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday today. And I'm starting my vlog from the kitchen because I want to show you some new kitchen bits that I got. Some very exciting and a little bit more investment piece kitchen appliances and like items <laughs> that I got. So I'm going to show it to you right now. And I'm also going to show quite a lot of things that I cook throughout um, the week with you. Um, because recently I've been kind of cooking more because you guys seem to really love it when I share my recipes and I've been cooking and experimenting a little bit more recently. So yeah, let us let me show you the new goods. <laughs> I have been waiting for this moment for so, so long and I'm so excited to be sharing this. Way before I actually got into design and interior and home decor, I always had a soft spot for the brand Smag. I remember that I was in love with their fridges and I always wanted a pink fridge whenever I would be a true adult. <laughs> Even after all those years passed, I always had a soft spot for Smag design. Um, I think they're just so retro but timeless at the same time. And I love all the different colors that their toasters, their fridges, everything come in. I knew that at some point in my life I wanted to invest into a Smag item, um, especially because my mom has quite a few Smag appliances in her kitchen and I was always kind of jealous. So for Christmas I actually went half seas on a Smag toaster because I use uh, a pan <laughs> to toast my toast. Uh, I didn't have a toaster before and I was like, you know what, if I'm going to buy a toaster, might as well splurge a little bit and get the most beautiful toaster out there, which is, in my opinion, this beautiful Smeg toaster. Now, I got this in the white color and I think that the white shade is very unique because it was only available in one store in the US, which was William & Sonoma, and it was also in back order for a ridiculous amount of time. I knew that I wanted a light shade, I didn't want any statement shade, even though, for example, this uh, baby blue looks perfect. I really wanted to go for pure white. The cream version of this is very beautiful as well, and it's quite easy to get, 
but the pure white one is really hard to find. And this is the shiny version. There's also a matte version, but because the rest of my appliances are shiny white, I didn't want to go for the matte white. Um, there's also a beautiful copper shade that I was thinking of getting as well, but because I'm planning on, you know, expanding my smack collection at some point, and they only have two items in the copper shade, I decided to go for pure white. So there you have it. This is my brand new toaster and I think this area of my kitchen looks so cute. Uh, I kind of call this my bread bank, <laughs> my bread bank section because I have all my wooden cutting boards as well as my knife block here. So whenever I'm making breakfast in the morning, I'm making myself a bagel or an avocado toast. This is the perfect um, preparation area. So the little bakery in Lilia's Cafe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so cringe, but I'm living for it, whatever. I would say that the reviews on this toaster were a little bit mixed. Some people said that they loved it. My mom personally loved it as well, and she had it for quite a few years. Um, but other people say you're just paying for the design and um, the toaster itself is not that good. Now, I actually tried it out like two, three times right now, and so far so good. I really like it. It's definitely quite strong, so I don't use it on the uh, strongest setting, which is six. Um, I use it like on four. It also has a bagel option, so you can only toast one side if you prefer. And uh, it also has a defrosting section. So aside from my brand new Smag toaster, there is one more item that I purchased for my kitchen that was kind of a splurge. I've been seeing this brand on Instagram literally everywhere and I'm talking about Caraway. Um, now I really wanted to purchase a new pan or a new pan set because my old pans were really disgusting and I thought you know what I want to invest in a little bit more of an expensive pan or pen set and I was kind of debating between two brands the first brand was uh, our place and they have the always pan and it looks really really cute but the reason why I didn't go for it is because a lot of reviews said that it chipped and also it is just one pan and I kind of wanted to get a pan set so I opted for caraway and I chose this beautiful cream shade with uh, silver hardware. I wish they had rose gold hardware, but unfortunately they don't. These are all non-toxic, non-stick ceramic pans. They had amazing reviews online, so I really wanted to try it out myself. And when you order the set, it obviously comes with the four pans. Uh, you also get three lids and uh, these fit all the pans, so that's like quite convenient. It also comes with this lid holder, which I think is such a genius design. And it looks really nice in my kitchen because it kind of hides this black part of my fridge. And then it also comes with these pan organizers that are magnetic and you can put them either in a drawer or um, on your countertop. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've tried them out for a few times and the non-stick of this pan is amazing. Like it is so slippery, like you don't need to use any oil and I honestly like love the aesthetic. I think they're so nice. But if I would have known this information, I don't think I would have purchased these pans because these pans are quite delicate and especially if you have a gas stove like me, uh, they tend to scratch super easily. And I feel like that is uh, not um, like disclaimed anywhere on the website and I also didn't read it in the reviews. I think most people maybe have induction or electric so they don't have this issue. Um, so yeah, if you don't have a gas stove, I think they're perfectly fine. But if you do, you have to be so careful with it because the, um, the metal of the stove really scratches the enamel. So the very first time that I used it, I was quite careful with it, but not like crazy careful, if you know what I mean. And I already like scratched it and burned it. Um, and it was kind of annoying because I already at that time threw out the packaging and, and I was actually considering returning these pants, but um, they charge like a 20% restock fee or like extra cost if you don't have all the original packaging. So I was like, okay, I can't return it. That really sucks because it's a lot of money, but at least I can see if I can get a pan replaced, uh, replaced. And the customer service was really nice. They did send me new pans, so this pan is perfect. And after that, I've used it a few times and I've been very careful with it and it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely not like an everyday pan that's super easy to use. Again, the pan itself is great. They're super easy to clean. Uh, they never like... 
um, like nothing sticks to them, but I think they're overpriced. So that is my um, honest review. I do think they're still really cute and I am going to use them and I think they're gonna last me a while, but that's definitely because I have to be so careful with it. And um, yeah, again, if I had induction or electric, I think it's perfect, but for gas, be careful with these bands. Can we take a moment for how beautiful my hair is looking? I'm still so obsessed with how Jacob dyed my hair. I think it looks so stunning. And also the curls, these uh, beachy waves, lasted so perfectly because I actually slept with a hair turban because <laughs> I was so worried that, um, you know, the heat of me sleeping on my hair would kind of, you know, make me lose the curls. But it actually lasted perfectly. I didn't touch it up at all. I woke up this morning and I started working on a new YouTube video that hopefully will go live later this week. It is a spring clean video, so I feel like it's very appropriate for this time around. It is 12.30 now and it is time for some breakfast. And if you're wondering why I'm eating breakfast this late, it's pretty much lunch by now. Uh, that is because I'm still intermittent fasting. So I'm eating between 12 and 8 p.m. Or at least I try. Um, and in the weekends, I do give myself a little bit more flexibility. So I do sometimes eat after 8, but most of the time I'm pretty good. My plans for the rest of the day is to go to Beverly Hills. Again, I'm going out and about uh, because I want to make use of my hair looking this beautiful. So I'm going to shoot some campaigns. Anyways, it is time to have some breakfast and uh, yeah, continue with the day. So for breakfast today, I have an oat milk vanilla latte together with these two cauliflower rounds. They're kind of a bread substitute and they're so yummy. I get them from Trader Joe's. Unfortunately, they're quite expensive. They're like a dollar for uh, one, but they're so worth it. They're so good. And then I topped it up with some avocado, everything but the bagel, and then I have a side salad with tomatoes and arugula. Super simple, but I really like my salads. Really simple. Um, so yeah, bon appetit. I always get a lot of questions about the perfumes I wear, so I wanted to show you one of my new favorite additions to my perfume collection that is going to be my new spring 2021 scent, and that is the... Okay, let me see. These all look very similar. No, it's not that one. Not that one. Where is it? Oh, yeah, this one. It is the Diptyque Eau Capitale, and it is an ode to the capital of France, Paris, where uh, Diptyque was created. And now they also have, <laughs> they also have a hair mist. And I had no idea that Diptyque also did hair mists. And I personally love hair mists because I'm always flipping my hair around, and uh, I want my hair to smell beautifully without, um, you know, really damaging it because perfume is actually alcohol based so uh, it dries out your hair but these hair mists are specifically uh, created that they're not as drying for your hair and your hair smells amazing too and I just love the fact that I have a matching body perfume as well as hair perfume from the Teak. So these smell amazing, um, they're quite sweet and floral but not uh, overbearing so if you're still on the market for a new spring perfume Definitely check out O Capital. Uh, the Russian in the back is Sebastian. Oh. Learning. Привет. <laughs> the Russian. <laughs> Привет, милый мой. Привет, милый моя. Oh, so cute. And uh, my outfit for the day is this beautiful top from Fashion Nova. It looks so royal and luxurious. I don't know how to describe it, but. I just think it's <laughs> stunning. <laughs> I'm trying to fill my outfit. <laughs> One second. Um, and then my shorts are from Lulu's. They are these um, leather, faux leather shorts. And my shoes are from Lulu's as well. And that right there is a pry bar as well as, how do you call it, the other thing? Hey, baby? What? The for the plaster? How do you call that thing? Uh, Scoop, kind of? Spatula. Spatula, spatula. Oh my gosh, that's a spatula. Because uh, <laughs> we've been um, redoing my wardrobe and yeah, I still haven't cleaned up because the plaster takes a long time to dry, so I can't hang my clothes back up, so my bed is still fully taken by clothes. So yeah, apologies for the mess, but it's very real life. 
and then now it is time to go because I think my Uber is here. So guys, we are now in Beverly Hills <laughs> and uh, we just shot the first outfit and now I have two to go and then we're just going to grab a coffee here, we will come to some home decor stores, oh, yeah, that's right. yeah, like just yeah. hang around a little, yeah, have a fun day in Beverly Hills. I had a really good day with Sebi in Beverly Hills. Um, after that, we went uh, to do some grocery shopping at Target and Ralph's. And now I'm changed in my comfy clothes. This is my Amsterdam cropped sweatshirt that I love uh, wearing to rep my city. Um, and I'm going to make some uh, vegan tacos. Yeah, I think it's really vegan. Um, this is not by any means like an authentic taco recipe but I think it is so so good and also Sebi thinks they're amazing um, so yeah we're in the mood for tacos so that's what we're going to do even though we ate Mexican yesterday as well but whatever I'm going to start off with cutting the paprika as well as some cherry tomatoes and then I also add kidney beans, garlic, shallots and lots of spices and uh, impossible meat so yeah time to start cooking <laughs> Guys, look how spoiled am I. I'm getting flowers for the third time for my boyfriend. Yeah. In th three times in, or I got three bouquets in two days. How did I deserve to find a man that is so sweet and caring? I love him. How pretty are these? I'm going to add them to the bouquet I have going on right now on my dinner table. These are the vegan tacos that I made with impossible meat. Uh, we also just squeezed some fresh apples juice, which is my recent obsession. It tastes so good. And now we're just going to add some veganese um, as well as some guac and mozzarella uh, style cheese, but it's from almond, so it's vegan. So, bon appetit. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I am so, so excited right now. Um, okay, so I just got a magazine in my mailbox and um, this is not 
just a magazine. This is the LA Entrepreneurs Magazine, which is uh, a monthly magazine focused on, as the name suggests, Los Angeles-based entrepreneurs. And they did a specific edition on uh, social media stars of 2021. And they asked me if I wanted to be featured in their magazine. And this is officially my second magazine feature, but my first with like a full page dedicated to me, if that makes sense. So this is the cover. And then on page six, so really at the start in my opinion, I didn't expect that. There's a whole page dedicated to me, my vlog, and my entrepreneurial adventure and career. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I'm honestly so speechless. I don't know. Um, it just feels like so surreal seeing myself in print because, yeah, it's like the second time that this happened to me. So I feel like it's a great start of the new year. Um, so yeah, I will, I will link the magazine down below if you guys are interested, but... This is just uh, quite a little epic moment for me. <laughs> Yay, my first LA Magazine feature. <laughs> So I quickly wanted to mention that I started a new business idea where I just store obnoxiously big boxes in my apartment and use that as a storage space instead of a living space. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but I'm not kidding about the amount of boxes that I have in my apartment right now. I think even when I originally moved to my place, I didn't have this amount of boxes or maybe the same amount. I don't know. But um so this is how your monitor closets get shipped right to your doorstep. Even though these boxes are quite big, it's obviously super convenient that they ship it right to your door. I don't have a car, so you know, this is perfect for me. Uh, these are all the parts and um, so yeah, that's just uh, the situation. And um, now it's time to get started building this all, uh, figuring out how I'm going to do all this. And also I ordered, um, uh, electric drill from Amazon because I didn't have an electric drill. Yeah, that's like the only thing you pretty much need to um, install it. So let's get started. I don't really follow TikTok trends, but this is something that I really wanted to try. This is a feta tomato pasta recipe that has just blown up on TikTok. I think 
Feta was like sold out for a week in most grocery stores in the US. Pretty crazy how, you know, big the effect of TikTok and social media is. Anyways, besides the points, um, I wanted to make it myself as well. I'm going to try it right now. So what I did is that I cut a, a lot of cherry tomatoes. I'm actually making quite a big portion, so hopefully I can eat this tomorrow for lunch as well. In the recipe, they tell you not to cut the cherry tomatoes, but I actually think it's nicer if cherry tomatoes are cut, so that's why I did it. Um, then you add oregano and uh, feta and then everything will melt. You add the pasta. I'm choosing a uh, whole wheat fusilli and uh, that's the recipe. But I added some extra uh, basil as well as dried basil because I like my pastas to be a little bit more nutritious. Um, and yeah, I'm choosing also whole wheat pasta instead of regular pasta. So this has to bake for 30 minutes on 180 Celsius or uh, 350 Fahrenheit. So that's what I'm going to do right now and hopefully it will turn out well.
So guys, this is the finished tiramisu and it's honestly so beautiful. And I already had a little bit of a taste um, of um, the cream and it was honestly perfect. So I can't wait to chill it now and eat it as a dessert after dinner. Good, huh? Mm. It's really good. Mm. You think it's well, good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> you and approve? Like I, said, you I approve? do approve. Yeah, yeah. give it a, a little a thumbs up. No. Why are you so cute, baby? Why are you so cute? Mm. Thank it's you. Good. <laughs> it's also pretty alcoholic, right? Mm. Yeah. That's why you're the best. <laughs> Doesn't I mean, drink yet makes this strong. I mean, think about it. Why put alcohol in food if you're not gonna get drunk? <laughs> Think about it. Like, no one says I drink alcohol for the taste. Like, <laughs> I'm here to get turned up. Sebi wisdom. Sebi wisdom. <laughs> Put that on the plaque. <laughs> Hang it up on the wall. <laughs> Good afternoon from a very <laughs> dressed up Lydia um, and I'm not by myself right now because <laughs> I'm with my lovely Bella Ariana. <laughs> You've seen her before on my channel and oh my gosh she is the one that gave me the amazing tiramisu uh, recipe that I featured. So if you guys wanna you should <laughs> if you need a recipe yes come to her because th they're very authentic italian recipes but you should post it on your instagram because people were actually yeah, asking yeah. about it mm -hmm. so yeah follow her i'll link her in the description box down below <laughs> uh, but we're going to shoot right now um we're going to shoot some like products and also just our outfits at uh, a very beautiful location in west hollywood uh, and I already called the Uber, so I'm rushing a little. <laughs> As always. <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, I quickly want to show you my outfit right now because it's really cute. So guys, this is what I'm wearing today. It's very fancy, very uh, <laughs> not quarantine-esque. Um, but sometimes you just got to dress up a little. And I've been um, very inspired by this very romantic, renaissance-inspired aesthetic recently. So that's why I am dressing up like this and channeling... Uh, my inner romantic. <laughs> uh, so the dress that I'm wearing is from Fashion Nova and it has this uh, beautiful like fluffy detailing, feather detailing. Then my bag is from a designer brand called Rosantica. Uh, I haven't heard of it before but I'm actually um, working with Forward which is a platform that sells a lot of uh, designer brands and this is a loan. So this is not my own bag, this is just a loan for pictures. Um, but, you know, I wanted to show it to you guys because it's so, so cute. And then my shoes, <laughs> more fluffy. I don't know if this is a little too much. Maybe it is, but it's just for a photo shoot and I think it's fun. Um, yeah, I'm wearing these beautiful fluffy heels from Ray by Revolve. And yeah, that is, that is the look. Baby, I know sometimes it's gonna end. Can we make a 
Me and Ariana right now are at the beautiful shooting location today. We just shot the outside of the rain and Ariana is busy taking some flatbed pictures because it's just so beautiful right now. And this is one of my favorite spots that I discovered in West Hollywood. Uh, it's so peaceful, there are like hummingbirds flying around. It makes me feel so grateful to be here. This is just such a beautiful, green, and blossoming little place. And like the rose and everything, it's just such a beautiful ensemble and the light and the backgrounds. Yeah. So now it is time. So after successful shooting day, work day, and <laughs> catch up, it doesn't really feel like a work day, but we did shoot some content. It is time to unwind. And um, Ariana was so sweet to invite me to get her to um, this pop beauty skincare self-care type of event um, where we're doing a virtual facial together. So we had to set up our little bowls and towels. And we have here all the pop beauty products that we're going to try out um and yeah how cute does this look i love it so my skin definitely needs a facial after i don't know after life <laughs> after life oh my gosh i sound so dramatic Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> okay ignore what i just said i'm not drunk i promise you guys i'm just tired i guess um, but um, yeah, we are in our PJs, casual, comfy clothes, and uh, now we're gonna remove our makeup and uh, get started with the with the facial. Yes. Yeah. Baby, I know sometimes it's gonna rain. Baby, can we make a now? Cause I. So my lovely online friends, we made it to the end of this weekly vlog and if you watch till the end, I want to <laughs> say thank you so much. I know that this vlog was so long, um, but I really enjoyed hanging out with you today and I wanted to thank you guys with organizing a little giveaway just because I want to show how much I appreciate you. I've done one in my last vlog and... Um, it was very well received. So one of my lovely followers, hi Mercedes, if you're watching, she made a whole dedicated uh, unboxing video about it on her YouTube channel. So, so sweet. So, you know, it just really warms my heart that I can make somebody's day with uh, a little, a little something like this. So this is, by the way, not sponsored by any brand. Uh, I'm just paying for the shipping costs. So um, yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. So this is everything that you can win and you can win some makeup brushes from IT Cosmetics and Revlon. Also this really fun um, mind <laughs> glowing peel-off mask from Florence. 
uh, Florence, I don't know exactly how to describe uh, the name, um, but this has been everywhere on Instagram recently. Then I have some products from Pop Beauty. Um, they are the brand that I had my facial with and I really love their skincare. So I think these beauty products, these uh, makeup products are not going to disappoint you as well. Here I have some little products that are just kind of going to be a surprise. And then I have these gorgeous eyeshadow palettes, mascara, as well as eyeliners from Revlon that are perfect. If you want to do like a creative uh, pop of makeup, uh, the giveaway is open internationally for two weeks. And the only thing that you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, obviously, because uh, this is a giveaway for all my uh, YouTube followers. And then you have to head over to my Instagram, uh, which is literally like Com, but I will link it down below. Follow me there and comment on this post. So it's going to be like my most recent post. And then I will DM the giveaway winner in two weeks. So, with that being said, it is time to end this video. I love you all and talk to you very, very soon. Bye, guys. Oh,